fellow gardeners! Today's video is about my experience dieting in Korea as a foreigner. Now, when I say diet, I mean it as a lifestyle change, not like me trying some crazy K-pop idol diet. You know, not, not, not like that at all. Different. Completely different. It's a lifestyle change. Um, when you are dieting or when you are trying to lose weight and be healthier, it should be a very gradual change and you should be doing it the right way, right? So I just want to talk about my experience, my journey uh, of losing weight while I've been here in Korea. So ever since graduating college, I had gradually gained some weight. And when I came to Korea, I gained a little more weight. And then finally in, I'd say around February, I was pretty heavy um, and I was the highest I had ever been in my entire life and so I knew something needed to change. Um, so in February I decided to kind of take it real seriously and you know lo lose this weight. So in February I had gone on winter vacation back home so it was actually quite easy for me to kickstart that back home. Uh, it was much more comfortable doing that. Uh, I knew the food that I was going to eat and I was able to log it rather easily. Um, and I had a treadmill back home that I was able to use to work out, so that helped a lot. Um, and then when I came back to Korea, I just kept up with that and started working out at the gym at my school. And I, uh, I tested out a couple of things. Um, I tried to just bring a lunch every day and eat that instead of eating the school lunch um, and that helped me lose weight but also just eating the school lunch even though it's very dense calorically uh, as long as I find a way to uh, I guess balance that out in the day then I'm still able to lose weight so um, in terms of my actual weight loss uh, since February, I have lost 7.5 kilograms, which is about 16 and a half pounds. Uh, so now I'm back to my college weight, which if you guys must know, it's about 59, 60 kilograms. Um, so I'm not done at all. <laughs> I want to be uh, even more fit and more toned and healthy, so I'm going to work on that. But it's nice to know that I'm back to how I was like before I graduated college and that whole fiasco happened. So in terms of actually logging my uh, meals, I use Lose It. And Lose It is really nice, but in terms of Korea and like logging Korean food, it's very difficult because if you scan the barcode, like I have an example here, if you scan the barcode of this, Lose it won't know what this is. So you have to log it manually, right? Um, and you have to do that sometimes in America too, right? So I have to log all of this manually. Um, and then I realized, hmm, I don't know what any of that means. So I decided to help you guys out and give you all the information. So uh, when I input it manually, it asks you know, for the calories, the carbs, cholesterol, fat, um, saturated fat, things like that. So um, I will display the words, but what we have here, I mean, here it does say 125K cal, because you guys know that calories, we say calories, is actually kilocalories, right? Um, what we actually take in are kilocalories, but for some reason we just call them calories. Uh, but yeah, so this is 125 calories or kilocalories, right? Um, and if you guys don't know, I'll actually show you this. This is meir, right? Meir, which is romanized right above, meir. Meir to you, okay? So meir means every day, meir. And then to you, to you is soy milk. Okay, so this is just a, a thing of soy milk. Um, and then this, so what it says below, right in the brown, 식기섬유, 식기섬유, 
which means dietary fiber, okay? So this actually has uh, quite a bit of fiber in it. So I'll just go through the list. So as it appears in the nutrition facts, okay, we have natrium, natrium, which is sodium, right? Nat natrium, natrium. Okay, we say sodium in America, we're weird. The real and the U, natrium, okay? So that's 120 milligrams. Then next to that is tansu huamul. Tansu huamul. Tansu huamul is uh, carbohydrates, okay? Tansu huamul. Okay, that's 17 grams. Uh, next to that will be sugar, which is tang yu. Tang yu. When you have the little circle thing and then you have a ri, after the ri turns into an n sound, nian. So it's tang tang yu. Tang yu. So sugar, 10 grams. And the next line is shiki somyu, right? What it says on here, shiki somyu which is dietary fiber, like I said, 6.2 grams, which is actually pretty good. Um, now I will say on most Korean packaging, nutrition facts, they do not actually give fiber um, unless there is fiber in it. Uh, next is tibang. Tibang is fat, okay? I think just like total fat, tibang, which is 4.5 grams. Then after that is tudansu tibang, right? Tudansu, hmm, tudansu. That must be trans, right? Trans fat. Tudansu tibang. Trans fat zero. Okay. Then next is poha, poha tibang. So if we already did trans fat, what would poha tibang? Either saturated or unsaturated fat, right? So poha tibang is saturated fat. And then next is cholesterol, wait, cholesterol. <laughs> so that's cholesterol, right? Zero. And then lastly, on um, here is tanpekjil, tanpekjil. And tanpekjil is protein, okay? Tanpekjil, tanpekjil is 6.6 .6 grams of protein, okay? So if you study those, okay, then you have a very good gist on what is in each thing. You don't have to go looking it up every single time. If you are really adamant about logging what you are eating uh, or drinking in Korea, and obviously the labels will be in Korean. So this will help you a lot in terms of just quickly logging whatever it is that you're having in like Lose It or maybe My Fitness Pale. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. Now, what I do wanna say is some food that you buy here in Korea they do not include nutrition information for some reason. So there are a couple times where I have bought like chicken nuggets or maybe even the dumplings that I've bought. Um, I can check and see if they have uh, nutrition info on it. Okay, yes, the dumplings do, but I know for sure the chicken nuggets that I buy um, do not have any nutrition information on them. And so it's really difficult for me to get an accurate input in terms of what I'm even having. So I really don't understand at all, like why they don't have nutrition information on every single package. Because um, that's like illegal in America, right? To not have nutrition information. So it's really weird coming here and buying things and then trying to log it and having no information on it, like nothing to go on. So just be careful, I guess. Another thing I want to talk about quickly. Uh, so when I did my basal metabolic rate, when I calculated that, which basically basal metabolic rate is the amount of calories or kilocalories that your body burns every day just by functioning right not adding in any other kind of thing like exercise or you know anything like that like how many calories does your body burn just to stay alive and like function every day right so my basal metabolic rate from february is uh 1293 about uh calories every day so if you add in you know like exercise and stuff like that obviously you will burn uh, some calories but 
to keep losing weight, right, you have to keep cutting your calories. So uh, if you, if I want to keep losing weight, if I don't exercise like at all, I need to be under 1,293 calories every day to lose weight, right? Um, and once you start to uh, lose weight, the amount of calories that you can have every day will also lower a little bit. I think lose it does it automatically, actually. Um, and so every single time that you log your weight, the app will calculate how many calories you can have that day. So just remember that if you keep losing weight, you're also going to have to cut calories a little bit each time. Um, and also, of course, losing weight does not mean losing fat, right? Hopefully you guys know that. You can lose weight, but if you're not losing fat, then that's not good, right? So you need to make sure that you're building muscle as well. So that's why I started lifting weights uh, at the gym at my school. Me doing that has helped me a lot in terms of losing weight and losing fat because I have lost fat for sure. Uh, a lot of pants that did not fit me when I came here are fitting me like pretty well now. So uh, I know that for a fact I am I am getting stronger and my body is getting a little bit like more toned, which is what I want. So uh, hopefully that helped. I think this is really important because so many people, even young people think, oh, I need to diet. I need to only eat this every day. You know, I need to have this, this, and this, and that's it. That's, that's so bad for your body, right? That's how eating disorders start. And the media, especially in America and Korea too, the media is so, so set on making people think you need to take this supplement and take this and not have this and do this in order to be thin, right? And it's just not healthy. Not a lot of people talk about dieting as a foreigner in Korea and like how to to do that so I figured this would be a good video for you guys and what I would also say is make sure that you are eating enough nutrients that's one thing to cut out calories and to lose weight but you also need to make sure that you are eating the correct nutrients and eating what your body needs to function, right? You can eat, you know, a thousand calories a day, but if you're only having pizza or scrambled eggs or I don't know, just something like that, then you are missing out on so much nutrition that your body needs from other sources. So uh, just keep that in mind. I know it's really difficult to balance the two, but there is a way to balance it. If you guys have anything that you want me to do, any questions or any suggestions for another video, please let me know in the comments. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.